Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today is something a bit different, something that obviously um, in recent years has been at the forefront of conversation about women's health. It's, it's your smear test. I've never had one done before, this will be my first one. I'm a bit nervous, I don't really know how to feel about it, but obviously it's a necessary thing. There's been, you know, people who didn't unfortunately get tests done and sadly pass away because they had you know cancerous cells that weren't detected because they didn't have the test. I'm about to get in the car to do it I thought I'd just do a quick little how I'm feeling beforehand and then just go into once it's done how it felt how long it took what, what it was like it's gonna be so awkward and cringe but because I've got some ongoing issues down in that area anyway which is the main reason that I'm pushing myself really to do this I've had a lot of bloating um, a lot of severe period pain. There's there's definitely something going on down there. They tried to tell me that it's my stomach and they tried to give me different pills and, and nothing's worked. I'm really scared shitless about what the outcome is gonna be um, because I, I've got this horrible feeling that it's gonna be something bad. Um, but then at least I'll have answers because so far I've gone about four years with no answers. So I was being a little bitch. That was absolutely fine, like, I can't believe I was so worried about it. Overall, it was really, it was just so easy and quick. I literally got in, signed myself into the surgery, and about four minutes later, I was seen. She went through how long it would take for me to get my results, checked my address, and things like that. She was saying to me that, um, previously they used to use, like, these things that were, she said it looked like a lollipop stick with, like, so, like a scrapey thing on it. It used to actually physically make a scraping sound, which is what I'd heard from my mum, and that's just sort of stuck with me. They asked me to go behind the curtain, drop trowel, um, lay on the bed, put this little tissue thing over the top, um, and then what you have to do is you put your, you sort of bend your knees up like this, together and then you just let them fall she kind of looked like a frog feel like a frog as well um and then she it was really horrible because she had this like massive light she was like here we are it was like i'm about to get probed or something and then she says right i'm just gonna push it in and puts it in this little thing it's like the see-through thing and then she sort of opens it up so she can see your cervix because the way that you have your legs when you're like a little frog it makes you relax down there as well instinctively when she started trying to put it in my legs sort of went not fully up i didn't like go <laughs> slam them shut but they instinctively lifted up a little bit and she was like if you just let them relax fully onto the, the bed thingy then it will be a lot easier because that will relax your whole area sort of thing and it like because because i was tensing up that's when it was it was a bit like ooh. But then as soon as I did that and listened to her, it was a lot easier. And then I was just closing my eyes and I was like, I was like, when is the scraping gonna come? Am I gonna hear it? And then she was literally took it out and I was like, is that it? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, well, I feel like a fucking idiot now. I was gonna get Tom to come with me and hold my hand. And it literally just felt like a bit like, a, kind of like a pressure, I guess. The, the worst part was some random lady seeing my vagina with a big light on it. So what you've got to remember is that it's not her first time doing it and she, you're not going to be the first vagina she's ever seen. <laughs> she's seen her own and also, you know, so many others through the years that she's had to do the test for before. The, the main thing is it doesn't hurt, it just feels a bit uncomfortable. You know, it's, it's like when you first, um, when you first try a tampon basically and you're like feels like a really foreign weird things up there and then it was out and it was done it literally took about two minutes and it was absolutely fine the lady was really nice um and she said you know even if it comes back positive that you do have you know um some cancerous cells that doesn't mean you have cancer that just means that the cells are starting to form and you know it can only be a positive thing that we found it so early um well not early we don't know how long it's been there but it's only a positive thing that they found it um so obviously you don't want to wish to get a positive result but when you do get a positive result, it's not something to freak out about. The pros outweigh the cons, you know, you'll feel a bit awkward and embarrassed um, and uncomfortable for a couple of minutes. Or, you know, you die, possibly. Obviously, it doesn't mean 100% you're going to die if you don't get a spear test, but that's what they're there for. Uh, like, a few minutes after I left the surgery, I was at the petrol station pumping up, filling up my car. And then I was in Aldi doing my monthly shop. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it was a minute ago, I had some friggin' device up my hoo-ha and she was scraping around with this thing. Well, she was scraping. Don't listen to the word scrape. She was brushing. Yes, that's, that's the word she used. I'm just gonna brush this along. 
it doesn't hurt so that that's not nothing to worry about i really thought it was gonna hurt i was just what's it called brainwashed i was brainwashed into thinking that it was gonna hurt by women other women you bastards you're supposed to look out for each other and you're the reason i was crapping myself if you've put a tampon up there you'll be fine so even if you haven't had sex if you've put a tampon into yourself you can de you can do this you've got this bit of a different video from me today so important to do i'm so glad i've done it nervous about to get my results but i think i'd be more worried if i hadn't have done it and um you know something could be going on in there that i don't know about until it's really you know there's nothing i can do about it and it's really affected my well-being and health i hope you guys found this video helpful in some way if you've got any more questions and pop them below obviously i'm not a nurse i'm not a doctor i'm not you know you can google it and look on the nhs i would have liked to have had someone do a video like this for me to watch and for me to go what am i why am i panicking like she did it it's fine i'd have gone into it a lot more calmer and probably a lot more relaxed and it probably would have been a little less uncomfortable as well because i would have been like well it's gonna be fine so yes do it you should do it do it as quick as you can because you don't know it could save your life